absolutely gorgeous day. We're at Hog's Back. This was the first place I raced in 2017. If I had never saw that Facebook post, I would have never spent thousands of dollars on four wheelers and racing, but here we are. Uh, before I go any further, I am gonna thank the sponsors that helped me this year. FXR, MR Unlimited, Mario with my shocks did a great job this year. The GBC tires hooked up all season. Uh, Bivens, most importantly, everything I broke. Bivens sales and service was right there with the parts I needed. And uh, 725 Designs, Todd Swain, you're amazing. Thank you so much for that graphics kit. All my shirts, stickers, Everything's just top-notch quality with 725, so appreciate their support as well. Uh, if I'm forgetting anybody, like the woman next to me, I apologize. My wife's been a big help. My friend Taco, my friend Jeremy, everybody that watches the channel, thank you. The season was a long one. We started May 1st. We're here into November 6th. I'm ready for weekends off, <laughs> do something different, go have fun with family and friends and not be at the racetrack. It kind of takes a lot to to hit all these races throughout the season and I'm just ready for a break but we're gonna go have some fun today the weather looks great now I did put on the mud hand guards because they're calling for a chance of rain around three o'clock shortly after we get started so headed to registration get signed up for this one let's go racing Looks like. 
like. Boy, that looks like my coolant hose is about to pop off. So what I think happened is, I got this one hose that is below the collar of the fitting. I think I got coolant coming out of that area. Now we're screwing up the quad, I should say, so I'm just gonna try to limp it back to the truck. This one's over for me. Thanks for watching the videos, guys. That's a sad way to go out, but we had a lot of fun. make it back to the truck before it detonated itself when I shut it off it sounded like my fan wasn't working it sounded like the motor was squealing and the fan was not turning so I'm guessing that's my culprit the fan did not come on work at all and by mile two or three she had reached that temperature where she started puking cooling it's a tough way to go out this year but I'm, I'm happy the season's over and I didn't get hurt that's always a big concern for me I'm no spring chicken anymore so racing at my age not that I'm super old or anything, 43 isn't super old, but I also don't want to get hurt. I have a uh, responsibility. So I was very happy to get out of this season uninjured. The quad broke a few times, but we'll fix that up over this off season and come out swinging in uh, May. As always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you watching the videos. I'm sorry this one's not going to be longer. There's no race video from this one. It's just a couple miles of me eating dust from the amateur class. We'll see you guys at the races.